What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Finesse Monster back with another video. Thank y'all for tuning in. If you're new, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe so you get more content coming from me. This is not financial advice. I'm just trying to give you my thoughts and opinions on the latest market moves. Let's get right into it. So today, you guessed it, we're going to be talking about Mullen stock and why I believe that there is an entity or entities trying to have a specific agenda to destroy Mullen stock before it bursts. Now, most people already know that Hindenburg Research reportedly came out saying that they were going to open a short position on Mullen Automotive stock, and they had a short report. It was around April 7th, around in here, surprisingly around the peaks of this run-up at $4 that Mullen had. And you can see that Mullen has been fading down ever since, all the way down to a new 52-week low of $0.22. Cents. And this downward spiral makes it look like Mullen stock has lost its momentum completely. When actually looking at the weekly chart, you'll see that momentum is actually still in the play. Momentum has stayed up throughout this downtrend, and as well as the MACD on the weekly chart has consistently been in the green. So that is something to keep in mind. We know there has been dilution and insider selling in Mullen stock in the midst of CEO of the company trying to raise cash. And we know that anything negative on a stock, especially Mullen stock, one of the most heavily shorted stocks in the New York Stock Exchange, anything negative that comes out on Mullen stock, it gets blasted by all uh, networks out there. CEO David Mishri just sold more Mullen stock. Uh, CEO sells 750,000 shares, dilution alert, Mullen has increased outstanding shares of stock. Is there any hope left for this EV stock? Just, you know, any anything like that will get blasted out in no time. Now let's take a look at the Mullen Insider activity and you'll see that in the last three months and 12 months, the open market buys is 15 and 26 and the open market number of sales is 3 and 20 so a lot more open market buys in the last three months than sales go down you'll see that the shares bought in the last three months 56 million pretty close to the 12 months as well as sold there's only 18 million so a lot more shares bought then sold in the last three months. And we take a look at the sales. We'll see CEO has some sales down here, September 22nd, also June 29th, 350K out of 7.4 million, and also 750K out of 15.8 million. So it seems like just some nibbling out of the total amount of shares held just been sold in the open market. And we also know that CEO David Mishri has been awarded more shares over the course of time by meeting certain milestones for the company. And I don't know about you, but if, you know, if I'm a shareholder and the company is meeting certain milestones, I would think that was bullish, but that's just as my opinion. Yes, there's been some dipping in the money bag but there's also been acquisitions for Mullen stock and also a host of events for October going into 2023. So let me ask you this. Do you really think 750,000 shares sold here and there maybe three times in the past few months has been driving the share price of Mullen stock down? Or do you think it is the amount of short shares that have been borrowed against Mullen Automotive, because this is the most since the run-up it had to $4. This is the most shares borrowed and shorted into the market on Mullen Automotive stock. Tens of millions borrowed every single day to be dumped in the open market on Mullen stock, and as well as dark pool numbers increasing in this time frame as well. Dark pool percentages, we've seen it up to around almost 90% off exchange volume for Mullen Automotive stock. 
You know, back when the off exchange volume for Mulan Motor Stock reached the mid to high 80s percent off exchange, could the shorts have been using dark pool as a gateway to rece recycle the same amount of shares for a profit? On this downtrend, the yellow line is price. On this downtrend in price, it makes sense for them to borrow millions of shares, short it into market, and recycle it back to dark pool for a profit, which in turn will bring the percentage off exchange volume up. And we can see that there's been a decline in off exchange volume as well. My point is, if they were doing that on a to make some profit on the way down, what are they doing now borrowing tens of millions of shares daily and not returning it to the dark pool, bringing the off exchange volume numbers up? There's not much profit to be made at these levels. Like I said in my previous video, I don't think the CEO is even worried about Mullen going into a reverse stock split. As I said before as well, Mullen has been trading under a dollar since July 26th shareholder meeting. The CEO is focused on producing and cutting costs in the long run for Mullen Automotive stock. And you need to raise cash for doing so, especially in the time of inflation like it is now. And like I said, in the midst of previous dilution and selling some stock that was awarded to him to raise cash, there has been product behind it. There's been acquisitions and also big tour events and events coming up for Mullen Automotive stock that will put more eyes on the company and push the product out there for production and sales. There has been blood on the streets and the market all around. A lot of stocks are at their 52-week lows, or if not, making new 52-week lows just like Mullen has done. But at the same time, people are buying the fear they are also not feeding the fear. And this could be life-changing opportunity across the board for a lot of these stocks out there. That's all I got for this one, everybody. I hope y'all find this information valuable. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Share this video with somebody else. Stay charged up out there as usual. And don't feed the fear. I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm gone. Go, go, go.